Poems Every Child Should Know. Edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 22. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains the following poems. I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, John Barleycorn, and A Life on the Ocean Wave. Part 2. Continued. I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. The daffodil is here out of compliment to a splendid school and a splendid teacher at Poughkeepsie. I found the pupils learning the poem, the teacher having placed a bunch of daffodils in a vase before them. It was a charming lesson. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills, and dances with the daffodils. William Wordsworth Poems Every Child Should Know John Barleycorn, by Mary e. Burt. John Barleycorn is a favorite with boys because Read it pictures a successful struggle. Schallenberg. One editor has made a this temperance section poem of it, just one poem, mistaking its true intent. childhood. The poem is a strong expression of a plowman's Hiawatha love needs no for a hearty, food-giving grain, which has sprung to life through his efforts. No snatches of it. It is a children's poem. There Every were three it. kings into the east. One summer three in Boston, kings more than fifty thousand people went. And they to have sworn a solemn oath: John Barleycorn should die by the shores of the Chibumi. They took a plow and plowed him down. By the shining big sea water, stood the wigwam of the Nokomis. And they have sworn a solemn oath: John Barleycorn was dead. But the cheerful spring came kindly on, and showers began to fall. John Barleycorn got up again, and sore surprised them all. Right before it beat the, the sultry suns of summer came, and, and he grew thick and strong. The shining His head well armed with pointed spears, that no one should him wrong. There the wrinkled old Nokomis, sober autumn and mild, rocked he grew him in his linen cradle. His bending joints and drooping and head showed he began to bound with reindeer His color sickened more and more, he faded into age. And Hush, then his and enemies began, began to show their deadly rage. Lulled they took a weapon long and sharp and cut him by the knee, yay, then my tied him fast it. upon a cart. Who is this like a road that lights the witchery? With his great eyes they laid the him wigwam. down upon his back and cudgeled him yay, full sore. They hung him up before the storm and turned him o'er and o'er. Many things no he filled up then a dark the stars that shone water to the brim. Showed him and heaved in poor John Barleycorn to let him sink or swim. Showed the death dance they laid him the out upon the floor to warn him further woe, and still as signs of life appeared, they tossed him to and fro. They wasted o'er a scorching winter. flame the marrow of his bones, the broad, white but a miller used him worst of all, he crushed him between two stones, running straight and across the they have taken his very heart's blood and drunk it round in the shadows. shadows. And still, the more and more they drank, their joy did more abound. Robert Burns A Life on the Ocean Wave A Life on the Ocean Wave by Epes Sargent, 1813-80, gives the swing and motion of the water of the great ocean. Children remember it almost unconsciously after hearing it read several times. A life on the ocean wave, a home on the rolling deep where the scattered waters rave and the winds their revels keep. Like an eagle caged I pine on this dull unchanging shore. Oh, give me the flashing brine, the spray and the tempest's roar. Once more on the deck I stand of my own swift gliding craft. Set sail, farewell to the land, the gale follows fair abaft. We shoot through the sparkling foam like an ocean bird set free. Like the ocean bird, our home we'll find far out on the sea. The land is no longer in view, 
the clouds have begun to frown. But with a stout vessel and crew, we'll say, let the storm come down, and the song of our hearts shall be, while the winds and the waters rave, a home on the rolling sea, a life on the ocean wave.